Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> oh, what the heck is that? Oh, crickets. I've got a little project today. Um, kind of a beekeeper kind of thing, obviously. <laughs> um, been a kind of a day. Anyhow, um, so what we're going to do today is I am going to peek in, but only just briefly. I was in here just a few days ago. Uh, main thing I'm going to do today is. Um, Put in a feeder and give them some pollen paddocks. I uh, would have liked to have done it yesterday, but I uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately, I had a um, work thing up out of town, <clears throat> so I was unable. <coughs> crap, I was unable to um, do anything for them yesterday. So I've got this feeder thingy. And I have this uh, entrance reducer. I have a video up on these things, uh, or we'll have some of them. Anyway, that's for the feeder, that's for the bees. This one has a cutout, but I don't know if it fits. So I just wanted to make one up and just replace it. And, uh, golly, and not have to uh, worry about it not fitting. So see if we can get this out real quick shouldn't be too big a deal. I know they glue everything in, so I'm just going to assume. Okay, we got it cracked loose. I don't want to damage the paint. I don't want to chip the wood. All this needs to be preserved as much as possible to help these last longer. Gotta be careful not to tip the hive or anything. There we go. There we go. Hello there, everybody. I'm not sure if the microphone's picking it up, but uh, we have thunder in the distance. I uh, we got rain coming tomorrow. <coughs> Damn that smoker! Gosh. Oops. This will be a little easier to handle. It's got this slot. So we just put it in flush. Slide that in there. We'll take our jar. Let's set it there. There we go. So up next, my B buddy brought me a pollen patties the other day so I could feed the two hives. I fed the madman hive just the other day. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this one in here. Uh, I am gonna give them just a little bit of smoke under there. I don't want to have to... Don't be a bum. Hop over there. Hop over there. Oh, come on you. Get. When you uh, mess around the front of a hive, um, you always piss off the guard bees. That's just kind of a given. Ugh. Holy cow. Well, that's kind of new. Now I am curious. I'm going to put that right there for just a minute. We're not going to leave that there. A little surprised at how stuck down that was for... There's a big one. Huh. It almost looked like the queen, but I think it was a drone. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they're pretty upset with me, but if they realized what I was doing, they'd be happy as larks, right? Let me move the camera up a little. I then bring my big tripod out today. I'm just using the little one. Just want to do a, I'm probably going to get in the bottom box. I just kind of want to see what they're doing up here. The flow has slowed down, or did slow down, but it's coming back uh, pretty good. Be interesting to see how long it takes for it to really peak out. But, well, that's interesting. They've actually started drawing a little just very casually drawing a little comb on there. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. These outer edges seem to be the best barometer of like how they're doing. Uh, again, I'm a new beekeeper. Don't take really much of anything I say as the gospel. Um, I know a few things, but I, I am not an expert and shouldn't give advice too much. Yeah, they've started... Oh, that's interesting, yeah. They're actively pulling a little comb on this top. They hadn't been doing that the last time in there. Okay. Huh, okay. see what they're up to here so all of these oh that's heavy that's interesting so all these frames on the top are all brand new I believe I don't think there's any used ones up here so anything that's been done up here is new uh, I say new since I brought the hive um, home oh that's got weight that's so freaking awesome So I'm looking at the remnants of the um, old queen cells that I destroyed and stopped. I kind of just want to see what they've been doing. They're not actively working on those queen cells, but they have a little something going on here. The sun's not out, so I can't really see in there to see if there's an egg. I'm going to double check for the queen, then I'm going to show the camera. Okay, I don't see the queen, so I'm going to... Take a real quick look at that right there, Steve. Looks like they're trying to start some queen cells. Now, some of those are ones that I'd aborted and rolled off, and it looks like they're actually kind of rebuilding them. Um, I haven't fed them since the last time, but what's interesting, this frame is about 20% full of honey, uh, nectar. It's It's got some weight to it. And on this left side, I can see that the um, the cells are probably about 75 percent full and there's some brood cap uh capped brood here still and i see eggs in the bottom i can definitely it's not bright but i can see eggs for sure check for yeah and on the same side over here i've got resources formed up there as well so hey that's cool so see our flow is already picking back up I'm going to show this and again real quick. This is on the other side. Right there. Looks like they might be starting another queen cell. A couple of them. They're all bunching up around one spot. I wonder if that's my queen or what they're doing there. Okay. So yeah. Huh. Yeah, we got some flow, y'all. We're not anywhere near the peak flow. Um, my partner and I talked about it quite a bit over the weekend. He came, stayed with me for a couple of days. And uh, 
um, our palmetto is not flowing yet, um, but it's getting really close. Um, we have some plants are flowing. I was just up north yesterday and none of the palmettos up there are going off yet, but it's got to be just a matter of days now. Um, we had a few here on the property. And once that starts, it'll be pretty insane. But uh, the fact we went from almost no reserves to having a, a really nice little stash, that's pretty cool. And they're also starting to pull the comb, the frames out. Yeah, see, they're working on this one too. And they're working on that one. Huh, that's awesome. These are a little bit feisty today. It's kind of cloudy. I don't think this is probably the best day to be in them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Um, it's not really time for their inspection yet. I just wanted to feed them and water them. But uh, yeah, from what I'm seeing, I'm I'm really thrilled. Um, those in there. And what's interesting is they've um, really been gluing this, the uh, top down this last time. Uh, that's something they hadn't really been doing. I mean, it was a little bit, but this time it was like really glued and I can see a good amount of stuff around it. They were probably trying to seal a hole they didn't like or something. Okay. Let me smoke these off. Come on, ladies, go away for just a minute. Okay. Let's get this on there before they settle in. Okay. All right, guys, that's uh, <laughs> pretty much wraps it up. I, I didn't want to do much in there today. I just wanted to check and uh, my normal inspection day would be like uh, Saturday or actually Friday on this one. Um, today is Wednesday, uh, but I want to get the feet in there. It's going to rain and, um, they don't do quite as much foraging probably when it rains. Cause I notice you don't see them out as much. Um, it'd be kind of cool for them to have some food in there while they're hanging out inside, watching a little TV or whatever they do when they hang out inside with tens of thousands of bees in a small box. Um, anyway, I keep saying anyway, I'm going to stop saying that. I'll let you guys go. Last little view of the, of the bees here. And I will bring you back um, probably tomorrow night, Thursday night. I'm going to go out to the Madman Hive, Madman Yard, and I'm going to seal that one up. And then Friday morning we're all going to go out to the winery, and I'll take you guys with me there, and we'll set the hive up at the winery, be my first one there. Um, Alright, well I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.